Hey, how are ya? I'm here in the main dining room of the Casa del Green camp here above the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. And glad to be with you today. It's May the 12th. Boy, the days are flying by. And sure glad to be with you. Today's uh, word is strength. I, I, I had in my mind favorite, favorite. That's why I just, I'm gonna do favorite. That was the word. And then as the devotional moved along, uh, the Lord just touched my heart, and uh, today's, uh, today's verse basically talks about the fact that we, as people, we have no other source. Our only hope, our only path is Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man's going to get to the Father but by Him. And as I wrote the uh, devotional today, I, I went back and I kind of... Uh, I didn't mull over, I did not uh, dwell on, but I recalled the past several months, and then I reflected. I reflected upon, upon today, and I thought, what a joyful, joyful time. The camp atmosphere here is positive. A couple of the, the, the campers are heading off for a hike up to the mountains. I'm sitting here and my, my knee is much better today. My leg's not swollen. The itchiness from the agave exposure is gone. My heart is peaceful. My ex-wife came in a few minutes ago and she uh, got a little something and I took care of something else. And I just sense the, just the peace and the grace and the holiness of God today in my life. And um, I... I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful. I'm just so grateful, so grateful. And what I wrote in the Devo was that um, there's, there's no way, there's no way that I should be in this place today. I don't deserve to be here, I shouldn't be here. And anyone who looks at my life in a logical way, and those of you out there who know what I've been through the last several months, and what was decided and how things have gone, it's not right. It's just not right. It's not fitting. And the Lord has shown me, um, the Lord has shown me so clearly that it's, it's, really, it's really from the adversary that um, the, uh, the adversary is just wanting to destroy me. You know, the devil wants to destroy me. And um, he is, he's doing his best. <laughs> He's, he's doing his very best, but here I am, happy, content, joyful, praising God, feeling so great. And I want that for you today. Whatever the temptation, whatever the trial, whatever the difficulty, whatever the accusation, whatever the conviction, whatever the label, whatever the, the yelling, whatever the screaming, whatever the accidents, whatever the, the throwing at you, Praise your name, Lord. James says that consider it joy. And I'm telling you, you can't consider it joy. It's just impossible. And yet, we need to consider it joy. It's not going to be in our human. It's not going to be in our flesh, your fleshy flesh, flesh. Our flesh doesn't want to have any pain, any difficulty, any challenge. We want everything just to... That's not God's way. He promised to work all things together for good. All things to all th it will all work together. And today, I'm I'm enjoying the fruit of God's blessing. He has allowed a lot to happen to me. He has shocked me with the circumstances that I've been through. I've been like, whoa, God, you know, really? I mean, how can this be your will? How can this be your way? It doesn't make any sense. I can't, I can't figure it out in my own mind. Yesterday I went and I did a little plumbing project and I only had an hour and that's not good. When you're gonna to go to do plumbing, you need to have open spaces, no boundaries, just open room. Cause plumbing is not, plumbing is not easy. Plumbing is like, but as I told you on the Devo last night, uh, yeah, it was just last night. <laughs> I didn't get to my Devo till late yesterday. Um, the Holy Spirit just, it was amazing. It all just worked. 
And all I can do is just to, uh, just to continue. You know, remember, I got to get to that Smucker's Tower. That's another 40, 50 years away. So um, it's actually 41 years away, so I'm almost there. But in that time period, God is going to allow a lot of things to happen to me. There's going to be a lot of challenges, a lot of heartaches, a lot of tears. It's not going to be all smooth sailing. It's not going to be all, you know, zippity doo da, zippity hey, hey. No, it's going to be, no, God, no, please, no, no, no. It's going to be heartache and tears and sobbing and weeping and, and Father, please help us. Is that because God is so horrible? God is so cruel? God is a mean, mean old man up there. I'll show him one more. Throw another one at him. No. <laughs> God is the source of all goodness. But the thing is, is that in this, in this, um, in this life, in the life that God is, is allowing us to, to be here with, remember, we have to go all the way back to the beginning. He's told the whole story. He didn't want any of this to happen. He wanted everything to be a garden. He wanted to be a garden with peace and connection and life and love. And Adam and Eve would have been just great. But they decided to do something different. Oh, we know better than God. And so thus started the sin cycle. And because of sin, because of a fallen world, because of the adversary that's out to steal, kill, and destroy, we are in this situation. And yet God will work all things together for good. And we do have a home that we're going to be at soon. And we don't have to wait for heaven and the sweet by and by. I'm experiencing heaven right now. I feel in heaven right now. I'm sharing with you, I'm sharing with my Father, and I love you. So let's pray. Father God, we just come before you, Lord, and we ask that through the Holy Spirit, through your grace, through your mercy, through your kindness, through your Son Jesus, through the blood of Christ that cleanses us from all sin, we pray, Father, that you would touch each life, each one, Lord, that, that is in front of me right now, each one that watches this video, whether in 10 years or in 10 minutes, God, we pray. If you haven't received Jesus, by the way, go ahead, open the door of your heart and say, Lord Jesus, come in and dine with me. And let Christ Jesus sacrifice cover your sin. And let go of your, your attempts, your fruitful attempts to, to somehow get to God. It's just never going to happen. You're never going to get there. You know, I'm sorry to say, well, no, but I got to look at, uh, there's another 3,000 religions I got to check out. But you can check out, you know, you can check out every religion until you're blue, <laughs> or until you're dead. You're never going to find it in religion. It's only in the relationship with Jesus Christ. So I pray that, that you would just pray that with me right now and say, Father God, come into my heart, forgive me my sins. I acknowledge you as, as Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So we'll agree that that's you today. All right, well, have a wonderful day. It's a great day here at Casa del Green Camp here above the Rose Bowl. Uh, but I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be going down to downtown LA, and who knows where I'm going. I'm going to go out to Burbank tonight, going to see my friend. Hey, how are you, buddy? So <laughs> I'm going to say... Well, allergy. <laughs> And by the way, hello, Nathan, Na Na Ethan, <laughs> my little buddy there, Ethan, out there in the east part of L.A. County. So people are real nice. God bless you. Have a great day.